Time now for your Pinpoint Weather Team coverage. We have Pete live in studio, Michelle Muscatello out in the East Bay, and let's first say good morning to Michelle there. Good morning. Good morning, Kate and Pete. Yeah, we are continuing to track this wintry weather that's going to be pushing in for today. Another round of accumulating snow on the way. The center of the storm is actually still off of the Carolina coastline right now off the North Carolina coast, and it is expected to track to the south and east of our area, brushing us here in southern New England with some moderate snowfall for a time this afternoon. So here's how things break down for today. We are looking at accumulating snow. The height of this storm, the most difficult travel period will be the afternoon and early early evening areas, but we'll see some lingering slick spots tonight and during tomorrow morning's commute as well. And we're going to get to an hour by hour look at that forecast for today right now with Pete. Thank you very much, Michelle. That's exactly right. Let's take you through this storm going hour by hour. Now, we are expecting the first flakes of snow likely anytime after around 9 a.m. through 11 a.m. by 9.30 or 10. I think it's snowing across a good part of the area. Light at first, you may actually mix in some rain with the snow for the coast. But once that precipitation comes down a bit heavier, I do think that this starts to stick. 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we could certainly see some snowfall rates around 1 inch per hour. Along with that, you could have quickly dropping visibility and quickly snow-covered roads. Notice how rapidly this starts to move out. But before that happens, 3, 4 o'clock, still some heavier bands of snow around. By 6, 7 p.m., you can see the back edge of the snow starts to push into Connecticut. And between around 8 and 10 p.m., that precipitation moves away. We're left with partly cloudy skies, dropping temperatures, and probably some leftover slick and icy roads. So something to keep in mind. So uh, 4 to 8 inches is what we have in the forecast right now. 2 to 5 brushing against the northwest corner of Rhode Island. 2 to 5 for Martha's Vineyard. 1 to 3 for the outer Cape. And and when we track the snow throughout the day, I do think there will be times where it's coming down really hard and you accumulate quickly. Other times you may get some of the light to moderate snow. And because those temperatures are kind of borderline, there may also be periods during the day where it's not sticking quite as much. Newport Harbor shows pretty good visibility so far with the cloudy skies. Kind of a pretty view there. Breeze out of the northeast in Smithfield at 5 miles an hour. 3 in Providence. 6 in Newport. 13 from the east in Providence. So as Michelle just mentioned, that center of the storm coming offshore from the Carolinas. Get that fringe now moving towards New Jersey. I am seeing some precipitation reports hitting the ground in New Jersey. Eventually they make it to us as well. And then that storm track stays very, very active. Now our next system for Tuesday, that's really across the entire country right now. That has to zip across the entire United States before delivering some potential snow and maybe some rain on Tuesday. So the weather pattern does stay very active. I mentioned those temperatures kind of being borderline today. Here's what I'm talking about. I think we're either at freezing or maybe just above freezing at times today and that will help dictate how quickly that snow starts to stick. In terms of wind speeds, it's not completely calm today. We'll get some brisk winds around 10 to 20 miles an hour, maybe even some 25 mile an hour wind gusts along the coast for areas like Newport, Jamestown. On their own, these winds not really enough to create widespread power outages. That being said, if some of these heavier snowfall amounts materialize, that's when you could run into some isolated power outages. But we're not expecting that to be a huge part of the forecast today. You could see by this evening, temperatures low 30s, then dropping below freezing into the 20s overnight through tomorrow morning. So still could be kind of some slick areas to deal with for the commute on Monday morning. Notice we have the sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. There is that potential rain snow maker on Tuesday and then the chance of some more snow returns for the end of the week staying very busy and active here in the Weather Center. You can always get the latest updates on our website. At